Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this video you are going to learn how to automatically display WooCommerce products on Twitter. Now let's see what is happening here. So you have added a new product here on your WooCommerce store and the link of the same product with its image you want to share on Twitter with your audience. Now let's talk about the applications we are using. So guys WooCommerce is an online e-commerce platform in which you can create your own e-commerce store and sell your products online. And Twitter is a micro blogging social media application in which you can interact with your audience in the form of short messages known as tweets. Now suppose that you have created an online store here on WooCommerce and you keep updating your store and add new products on a regular basis. Now you have a Twitter handle also and here you have a large audience base. So whenever you add a new product here on your e-commerce store, you want to share the details and the link of the product here with your Twitter audience as well. Now to get this done, you have two ways. One is whenever you add a new product here on your WooCommerce store, you manually gather the details of the product then come to Twitter and manually add a tweet for your audience here on Twitter. Now guys, this process can be very repetitive and tiresome. So we have a better way for you. What if I tell you that as and when you add a new product here on your WooCommerce store, the details of the same product and the link get delivered here on Twitter and shared with your audience as a new tweet automatically. Yes guys. This can happen and this can be done by connecting these two applications which is WooCommerce Store and Twitter. But the issue is there is no direct connection or integration present between WooCommerce and Twitter. So to connect these two applications, I am using a software called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software and the best part of it is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge to make this connection between WooCommerce and Twitter. So now let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection between WooCommerce and Twitter is going to work in real time. So guys, this is uh, the dashboard of my WordPress and here I have installed the plugin for WooCommerce to manage my store. This is my WooCommerce plugin here. All right. And this is my Twitter account in which by which I interact with my audience and my customers and update about my products here in my Twitter account to my customers. So let me show you that uh, now I'm going to add a product here in my WooCommerce store and the same product will be delivered here as a new tweet for my customer base here to get them updated. So let's add a product here. So I'm going to my products section here. And from here, I'm going to add another product by clicking here on add new like this. So from this page, you can add your product so you can enter the product name here and the description, short description and all the things that are needed to be filled. So you can also manage the inventory. You can enter the price. So let me fill it in a few minutes. So I have entered the product here, which is this wireless noise cancellation cancelling headphones. All right. So this is the product I have. This is the product image I have added and I have added a small description also like this. And uh, in uh, inventory, I have managed the inventory and I have in the stock quantity, I entered the quantity, which is 20. And in the price I also I have entered the price here like this. So now I'm going to publish this product from here by clicking on publish and this product will be published on my WooCommerce store. So it is getting published. All right, you can see the WooCommerce store is updated here. And is this product is added here. Let me show you my all, all products. I'm clicking on all products and here you can see this wireless noise cancelling headphone is added and it is in stock here. Now let's check in the Twitter account. If So guys, you can see we have got a new tweet here in our Twitter handle 
and it is saying the listing of products in our store is updated for you click on this link to check our new collection and this is the product that we have added here all right so when i click here on this link it will redirect you to our store which is this this is our woocommerce store ultimate shopping and here you can see the product and you can buy this product from here directly all right so this is how it is going to work in real time now you guys are wondering how i managed to bring this tweet here without any manual compilation of the tweet just by adding a new product here in my woocommerce store all right so guys let me give you the easiest possible steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between your woocommerce store and twitter so guys these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between your woocommerce store and twitter so step one is connect pably connect to woocommerce with the help of webhook url so first of all we are going to open pably connect and connect our woocommerce store with pably connect and step two is collect the data from woocommerce in pably connect so in second step we'll bring the data of the products from woocommerce store to here in pably connect and step three says send the same data to twitter as a new tweet so the data we have gathered here in pably connect we are going to send it to twitter as a new tweet all right now let's jump back to our step one and open pably connect first so first of all guys you have to open your browser and type in this search bar p a b b l y that is pably.com so this is the landing page of pably from here put your cursor on this products and click on connect now you can set up your free pably connect account in just 2 minutes by clicking here on sign up free button which i have already done so i am clicking on sign in directly so after signing in this all apps section of pably will open up and from here come to this connect panel and click on access now button so that will bring you to the dashboard of pably connect which is this and to start working here you have to create workflows like these so these are the workflows i have created for various purposes so you can create a workflow like this by clicking here on create workflow button and here you have to enter a relevant name for a workflow so you can give any name let me give it as so i have filled the name like this woocommerce store products to twitter handle now i am going to click on create so as a workflow get created you will see these two things the trigger and the action so the trigger says when this happens action says pably connect do this all right so pably connect work on these two things and as in our use case the trigger would be a new product added in our woocommerce store and the action would be share the same product on our twitter handle as a new tweet all right so first of all click here on this trigger option and from this choose app choose your application as woocommerce so this is woocommerce we have and in the trigger event you have to select product created so this is the product created option we have or a new product this is this option new product created click on it so it will generate this url and this url is called as a webhook url so by using this we are going to connect our woocommerce store with pably connect so you just have to copy this url from here like this and then go to your uh, woocommerce store plugin which you which we have in our uh, wordpress so let me open this is our woocommerce plugin actually so from here you have to click on this settings click on the settings and from the settings you have to click on this advanced option and when you click advanced this page will open up and from here you have to find this webhooks option right here so click on this webhooks and here you can add a new webhook by clicking here on add new add webhook button so click on it so after this this page will open up here you have to enter a name for your webhook so you can give the name like this uh woocommerce product update like this 
and then mark the status as active from this drop down click on active and then in this topic you have to select uh, add a product created actually this product created option in this topic you have to select this product created and in this delivery URL option, you have to paste the copied URL which you have copied from Pavli Connect like this. So paste it here in this delivery URL like this. And then just click on save webhook option. And uh, the webhook is added here. You can see the webhook is created here. So let's see in Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect is showing this response. It generated a webhook ID. And this is the number of webhook ID. Now what you have to do, our second step is uh, was to bring the data from WooCommerce store to Pabli Connect, right? So to bring the data, what you have to do, click on this recapture webhook response button and click on yes. So it will start showing waiting for webhook response. Now what you have to do is to go to your uh, WooCommerce plugin here and now add another product in your WooCommerce store. So just click on this products option, click on add new. So it will bring you to the page where you can add the new product. So from here you have to add a new product. So let me enter it. So I have added this product here, which is JBL extreme portable wireless Bluetooth speaker. And I have added this uh, product image here and this is the short description of our product and in this here in inventory I have marked the status as in stock and in the inventory I have entered the quantity as yes. we have 10 speakers now what I'm going to do I'll publish this from by clicking here on this publish button and this product will be added in our store and let's see in public connect it is it is still showing waiting for the webhook response all right so let's publish it so i've clicked on publish and start publishing it yeah we are done the our product is published here let's check in public connect if it has captured any response or not so you can see in public and it started showing this response. All right, so it's captured the data like this. It generated an ID and it is showing the name of the product, which is this. All right, and it created a link also for our product and the date of creation and uh, all these things, the pricing, right? So it col collected the data like this. Now it is time for our next step, which is to send this data to Twitter as a new tweet. So what you have to do for that is to click on this action button and from this choose app, choose your application as Twitter. So here is Twitter, select this. And in the action, action event, you have to choose create tweet with media, this option. So this connect button will appear after this. So click on connect. And from this window, choose this add new connection and then click on connect with Twitter. So from this window, it will ask for the authorization of the app. So which is completely safe. Click on authorize app. All right. So you can see the authorization is successful and start showing connected. That means we are connected with our Twitter account. All right. Now it is saying you have to enter a message here for your Twitter followers. So you can enter any message. Let me fill it. So I have entered the message like this. The listings of products in our online store is updated for you. And then I have entered a line breaker here. I put this slash n to uh, add another line in my tweet. And then I have written click on this link to check our new collection. And then I added another line breaker. And after this, I am going to map the link of my product, which I'll find here. So in the first tab where we have collected the data, it gave us this link also. Let me show you the link. So we have this link here, which we are going to map. This permalink. All right. So in this field, you will have the link of your product. So when you click here in, uh, in this message field, you will find this WooCommerce new product created option. Click on it and you will find all the data that has already captured by Public Connect. So just map this permalink 
from here only so whenever you add a new product this link will change will get changed here automatically and a new link will be tweeted with every new tweet and in this media file url click here and map the media url which was generated here so it also generated a media url let me show you so we got an image link also here you can see so this is the image link we have this is the image link image 0 src so just map this image link by clicking here in the media file and click on WooCommerce option and just map the image link so by mapping this whenever you add a new product this image link will automatically get updated and the new image will be tweeted now I'm going to click on this save and send test request and we will see if this data get delivered in our Twitter account as a new tweet or not. Alright, so I'm clicking here on save and send test request. And you can see it started showing this type of response here. Let's check the Twitter account. So in my twitter account all right so we got a new tweet here the listing of the products in our online store is updated for you and the image is the bluetooth speakers image and let me click here on this link and it will redirect us to the woocommerce store page and we have the uh, product page here and we can buy it from here only all right so the connection is working fine now let me give you a, qu a quick recap what we have done here first of all in this trigger option I selected the application from this choose app as WooCommerce. Then we selected the trigger event like this. Then with the help of this URL, we connected our WooCommerce store. Then we add a new product and capture the response of the product like this here in Pabli Connect. Then we in this action window, we connected our Twitter account, select the action event and type the message for our Twitter followers like this, map the link of the product that, that we have got here in the first step then map the image link also select the media category and when I click on save and send test request you have seen the tweet is generated here all right now just click on save here and let me tell you one more important thing is that uh, you can use this workflow or make this workflow run 100 times in a month because Pabli Connect's free account provides you 100 free tasks every month. So if 100 tasks are sufficient for your working, you can use Pabli Connect free account for free forever. And we are also going to paste the link of this same workflow that I have created in the description box. So you can clone this same workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using it. So guys, this is it for today. And as you see, we have connected a few applications in this video by using this Pabli Connect software. You can also connect many different applications by using this Pabli Connect software. And if you want any other type of integrations from our side, you can contact us from this email ID and you can ask your queries from this link in this forum. And you can check the pricing of this software by this link. And if you find this video useful, do not forget to like, share and sub subscribe to our channel and keep automating your business with the help of Pabli Connect. Thank you so much.